Good evening, YouTube. Uh, I would like to discuss uh, briefly in this video about uh, this man, Mr. Jim Ellis, the former Alberta Energy Regulator CEO. Uh, a little bit of a brief background. The Alberta Energy Regulator is designed to uh, regulate the industry here in Alberta um, to hold it accountable, safe development, uh, ethical development, and so forth. And this man was placed in charge of that responsibility. And in turn, he used his power to slowly but surely create a company called ICOR, which ended up being a completely corrupt misallocation of funds, public funding, um, in short, taxpayer money. So what this man did, he went, he was appointed, I believe, by the previous NDP government under Rachel Notley to oversee the, uh, the AER. So let's get into, uh, let's say, as soon as Jason Kenney was elected, there was a um, a review because there was cutting in the um, the current uh, earnings of such politicians, if you will. So. Here is how much Jim Ellis made according to compensation, and the number is six hundred thousand six hundred sixty five and twelve cents. Uh, other revenues include a hundred and twenty one thousand and fifteen dollars and fifty seven cents. So this became a report um, that was brought to the attention of the ethics commissioner in Alberta, the um, Attorney General, uh, Doug Wiley, and uh, Mr. Mike Ellis, the Standing Committee Chair, um, and the Auditor General was the, um, deemed an order to create a report on the dealings of Jim Ellis and ICOR, specifically ICOR, and um, so it was brought to their attention that uh, ICOR activities were deemed inappropriate, public money was spent, uh, controls and processes failed uh, against potential conflicts of interest, AER board oversight was ineffective, financial information management and human resource control were ineffective, Controls to track and monitor expenses related to i activities were at first non-existent, then poorly implemented. The tone at the top AER did not support a strong control environment or compliance with policy. So in short, they were entirely unregulated, and if they were regulated, it was regulated in a, in a way of incompetence. And here are a few recommendations. The PDF is very easy to find. I just had to type in ICOR um, and then Attorney General Report on Google, October 2019. And so I'll just scroll here for a moment because their conclusions were very, very interesting. Examination conclusions. The AER engaged in activities outside its mandate and public money was inappropriately spent. Uh, so here we have it. Um, many, um, pardon me, AER established initiative was designed and built primarily to generate money from uh, international jurisdictions through training of foreign regulators and by providing adversary sources. AER resources funded by the industry levies was used to develop i an initiative with negligible benefits either to AER or Alberta. So that's one of them. Um, so this man, 
as I understand it, funding for this program, for this company, if you will, were estimated to be about $5.4 million in funds that have been, let's say, stolen from Albertans. And they recovered, uh, I believe, three point one million dollars leaving a outstanding balance of 2.3 million according to the audit so this money is still missing and this money needs to be recovered um, the report from the auditor general is, is very damning evidence to uh, Jim uh, Ellis and I hope that he goes to prison because or he should be at least commanded to pay the money that was stolen. Um, but essentially, I just wanted to conclude with this. Um, the energy sector in Alberta is failing. And as I understand it, this man helped that process become reality. The killing of oil sands, or rather its business, or potential business, as it were but also how dare he line his own pockets with the money from Albertan taxpayers whilst at the same time killing our energy industry and creating a company to line his pockets. So I can say that this person is a very, very irresponsible, uh, a very corrupt individual and I hope he's found guilty and he should serve a prison sentence and pay the massive fine in that amount that was stolen. Uh, for me, I discovered this case from the Calgary Sun. Um, it was uh, a article written by Jeanette French and I found it interesting because for years I've already been sort of following the NDP government's slow, deliberate um, destruction of our business in the oil sands, as well as Trudeau. They both played their part to slowly destroy the oil sands in this province and uh, destroy our business reputation. So it lifts my heart to see this person investigated and his company disbanded. i is no longer in existence now. Um, the new chair will decide, um, you know, it's fate, I suppose. Perhaps not. Perhaps it will be Jason Kenney himself or one of his top uh, ministers. But uh, that aside, uh, this case uh, angers me deeply. And I find that uh, this behavior of this individual is reprehensible. Jim Ellis, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you should pay back the money that you've stolen from Alberta. So here is a case of uh, somebody who has simultaneously misallocated, mismanaged, stolen public funds. And used that money to line his own pockets and become fairly wealthy off it so and all in the name of uh, the pretense of uh, energy management for Alberta so a person who is unworthy of his post thank you so much for your time and thank you for your attention bye-bye